it, I've registered it. I own it. So I can set up a legitimate DNSSEC enabled DNS server for it. Yeah. It, it, DNSSEC does nothing to stop this. All right. I can't see anything. We got hands? Yeah, in the back there. Um, so you said uh, th that you tried it on a, whole, on, on a whole bunch of routers, and I think you said about 17 of them worked, and the rest didn't. Uh, did you have time to investigate the ones that didn't work and figure out why they didn't work and, and what they're doing there that, uh, um, that prevented it? On, on most of them, I suspect they're not using the weak end system model. Um, some of them uh, actually were uh, fairly smart about uh, how they rebound services, so they, they weren't listening on the WAN port. I didn't get a, get a chance to look at all of them, um, but it, fr from what I've tested, if you're running a Linux or BSD-based system, you're at a much higher risk for attack because they implement the weak end system model in, in the OS. Um, now, that doesn't necessarily mean it will work because there are some Linux-based routers this didn't work against, again, because of the way they, they bind interfaces and set up their firewall rules. Um, but, but, I mean, if you're running Linux, you're already a third of the way there. And the other two configuration uh, options are actually fairly prevalent. So if you're, not, if you're running some kind of custom OS on the underlying router, um, it's probably less likely. Because interestingly, the weak end system model is more difficult to implement than the strong, because you have to go through and look at all your IP addresses and see if they match, rather than just checking the one, one IP. Is that it? So yes, there is. Um, the, the question is, if you didn't hear it, is there anything an ISP can do to help stop this attack? Um, so you notice I'm returning two IP addresses. I, I have seen one really weird ISP that actually would filter out the, the extra IP addresses. So if I did a DNS lookup on Google, it would only give me one IP address back. And that will break this attack. Um, but it also breaks um, redundancy for Google as well. So it's a pro and a con. Is that it? Was the processing, the processing model chosen because of the processing power issue? I have no idea why they chose that. I really don't. And I suspect it's one of those things they chose before, you know, JavaScript was real big and you had cross, you know, you had XML HTTP requests and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, ultimately, you're trying to enforce security based on a domain name, but the domain name can point anywhere. So it. It's, it's really just a fundamentally flawed policy, but I, I have no idea why they chose to do that. Other than it's probably pretty difficult to do it based on IP, especially if you want to allow the DNS redundancy, because then you have to have to allow it to switch IPs. And after tech contact, did you uh, mention they're going to upgrade their firmware or anything like that? No, I haven't got anything for Action Tech. Interestingly, though. Um, Two days ago, a buddy of my mind uh, forwarded me an email he got from Verizon saying, we're very secured about our customer security, and here's a link to a website that says you had to change your default password and all this other stuff. Um, but yeah, I haven't been contacted. The, on the only router company that's contacted me is PFSense, and they're not really a company. They're, just, they're the open source project. Anything else? All right, awesome. Thank you very much.